track here. We got H2O here. You know, you guys know it as water, but we got H2O regardless. Today, we are gonna put these Nike Turbo Pegasus running shoes to see if they're actually waterproof. Basically, it's gonna go around and we're just gonna pour water on them. Pause and work out. And keep it going. And as you can see, I still got the Nike run tracker because We'll be tracking to see how many miles we do a day. You know? Resuming workout. I do about 60 miles a week walking. Why? Because, because I, oh, dog, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Go, go. Let's see if these shoes are in fact waterproof. Here we go. You see those beads? Zoom in on them. Zoom in on them. Completely waterproof. Let's go. So test one is gonna be the water test. We're gonna pretty much wet the whole shoe. I'm gonna take the shoes off and we're gonna see if any water leaked through. Let's do it. see we're out in the rain we're about to see if these are waterproof no water has gone in as you can see they are waterproof so if you live in an area where it rains a lot and there's a lot of violence these shoes are for you hand sanitizer challenge here we go see that wipe it off Clean it off, and your shoes are brand new. So you can see guys, I'm wearing uh, some sweats with my shoes today. We got the turbo shields, and many people don't know, but these are rain resistant, so there's not gonna be any slipping. Come here, if I take you guys over here, usually puddles, you don't gotta worry about it, because the whole shoe, is waterproof. The only thing I would recommend if you're gonna be going for like a rainy run is putting duct tape all along this area. And of course, actually zipping it up all the way and duct taping from here all the way up and you'll have a 100% waterproof shoe. So we're currently on our way to the next location, which is gonna be the underwater test which all that's basically gonna happen is as you can see here where I gotta shut these off let me go ahead and shut these off real quick we can continue is we're gonna submerge half part half of the turbo shield for this test we're gonna put a completely dry paper towel. We're gonna put it inside the shoe all the way towards the back. The reason we're doing this is because we're gonna submerge the shoe as if you were gonna step in a puddle of water. So basically, you see the paper towels in there. We're gonna zip it up, clip it on, and we're gonna see if it, it if indeed no water leaks in so i'm going to pour water and then we're going to dunk it and then and then yeah we'll figure we'll see what happens all right so we got the paper towel there we're going to go ahead and zip it closed we're gonna do a lock pattern here. And no water should leak. Let's go get it. Up to maybe the area where you would step in a puddle. So let's let's do it. I got full of water here. Let's get her going.
see it's completely covered in water. Go ahead and see it almost like bounces right off. So switch it. Okay, moment of truth guys, moment of truth. You see that water steaming. Keep in mind, man, this is a hot, hot water. So we gotta make sure that it didn't penetrate the hole there, which it didn't. All right, let's do it. Let's do the, the reveal. It's gonna be pretty rough, but I'm trying not to cut it, the frame to make sure that it's in fact an honest test. Okay. Completely dry in here. I'm gonna go ahead and reach in and grab it. And would you look at that? Mission pass, not a single droplet of water. There you have it, an amazing waterproof shoe. Wow. Definitely an amazing shoe. I'm so happy how it's how it cleaned it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other waterproof shoe. You know, dump it in there. Give it a nice nice little wash you know really like soak up the shoe and really get it in there and voila that's how you clean your pegasus turbo shields wow that's amazing man now that's amazing who would have thunk waterproof shoes now these come in clutch, I don't care who you are. Drop some soda in there, who cares, you know? Who cares, you're good. Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo Shield. They are track and field approved. Definitely no heating. Pausing workout. You get a, a nice little like kick, you know? It, this doesn't have a carbon fiber or carbon plate like the Vapor Max. Not the Vapor Max, the Vapor Fly. Resuming workout. As you can see, I got the I got the Nike Track Runner, so I could track my miles. Just did five miles in about like 40, 44 minutes. So as you can see here, guys, we got the the red from the track here. Calves are kicking, so. I definitely do recommend update. This is an update video. So I give these a nine out of 10. The only reason I don't give them a 10 out of 10 is because the it needs a little bit better lacing as far as tightness, but no complaints, not at all. Really good quality pair of running shoes. So I told you guys, this is the end as you can see. There's literally nothing anymore. We got Starbucks. People still got money for Starbucks, so that's always good. We look at all the meat, right? Not a good time to be on a diet because there's no, there's no protein. As you can see, here's the life hack. If you need protein, you're gonna get some chicken tenders. Six ninety nine. Okay, so vegetables, I do not run them all. Just because people touch it. Yeah, here up on the roof, we're gonna go ahead and repair all these uh, solar panels. You know, get them all shined up, replace a few bolts. You know, because we gotta save energy here. So check it out. All right, we are looking currently for our next shoe where is it at comment down below what shoe i should get next